So I've been working on my Craftsman LT1000 garden tractor and uh, mostly just looks like a normal LT1000. But it has a couple of modifications. Um, so let me show you what I've done. Taking a look, you might wonder, wait a second, you stuck a light bar on there. Well, that's just getting started. Also welded up a couple of batteries, or a frame, to mount the batteries on. That's just two of the batteries. So under the hood, instead of a gas motor, we have a Moto Energy 1004. Um, it's a 14 and a half horsepower electric motor, but it's capable of way more torque than the 18 horse that was on this. So I've got more power now. There's the other two batteries. So this is actually a complete electrical conversion. I was just kind of messing. Um, and it's working pretty awesome. I've done um, a half a dozen mows and getting over an hour of charge just on these four batteries or over an hour of run time um, so let me show you um, to charge it up standard golf cart 48 volt port um, just need a golf cart charger and I just plug it in um, got it all wired up so it's a 48 volt um, system um, got 48 volts coming in here 300 amp fuse comes through. Um, I've got those 48 volts going to a 20 amp breaker, which gives us master switch. We'll flip that on. We've got our state of charge and the uh, battery charge indicator. I ran it for about one minute so far in this charge. Um, the other switch will activate the solenoid and that solenoid has the big beefy cables which it's got two cables from and off of the solenoid so it's got one of those is routing to the motor and the other is routing to a PTO port so if I wanted to run um, a post hole digger that was electric or something else uh, 48 volt then I could like a uh, inverter um, I powered a refrigerator during a power outage for um, about three days on this um, that was handy and charged a lot of uh, other stuff electronics um, so to turn these on you would turn the solenoid on and then or before We've got a key for either one of these, so if we wanted the motor to turn on when the solenoid was on, cool. Um, otherwise, you could have the port, have it be active. Um, you could have two keys and have them both running, but um, probably you would just need one at a time, which is why I only have one key attached. So I'll close this up. I'll leave this in here. And so now the motor will kick on. Let me show you something else quick first. So it's 48 volt, but there's some stuff like the light bar that are 12 volt. So we have a 12 volt, a 48 to 12 volt converter. And that 12 volts goes over to an automotive fuse panel. So then we have a few circuits on 12 volt. Um, one is the light switch. That's handy. That's for the light bar. And the other is to show us a 12 volt state of charge. And the cool thing about this 12 volt state of charge is that it's got dual USB charging. So if you want to charge your phone and, or you had almost a dead phone and needed to bring that with you while you were mowing, then you could do that. Um, or I guess if you wanted to mount a flat panel on the front of your lawnmower or something and watch Netflix while you drove. Um, just kidding. The, uh, the motor tie-in is just mounted on a standard um, quarter-inch aluminum panel or block. Um, that's bolted in and 
cool thing about the Moto Energy 1004 motor is it marries up to the belts um, and the pulleys that the old motor in most uh, lawn tractors um, use. So you can just use your existing belt drive. You don't have to muck with anything. Um, so installation of the motor was pretty simple. That was the first thing I did. Um, after that, um, I welded in the frame for holding the extra batteries and so there and there um, and then just wired it up. I guess that's about it. Um, I'll close it back up and then I can show you a little more of it running. Um, let's see. So the light's pretty sweet. Um, that light bar is crazy bright. Um, pretty much lights up the entire tree line. Um, if you're mowing or need to run the tractor at night. So for me, I've got a long driveway. Bringing the tractor and bringing the trash up is handy um, at nighttime. So because it's running the belts, still makes a decent amount of noise when you flip this on. So we've got it. Motor keys on. So if I flip this switch, it's going to kick the solenoid on. Actually, let me show you the solenoid first. Turn off, undo the key, open it up. Now, I'm going to flip this solenoid. You can hear the click. On, off, on, off. Alright, so next time I'm going to do that, I'll have the key on. I'll just drive around a little bit. Mowing's already done right now. Alright, so when I flip this on, it'll get pretty loud. Not sure if you'll be able to hear me while I'm running, um, but I'll just drive a little circle here so you can hear it. to uh, do this project. It's, um, I think if I just focused straight on it, I could have done it in a week or two, if it just would have been a uh, almost full-time project. Um, maybe a week if it was just full-time now that I know what I'm doing. Um, but actual time because I got kids and lots of other priorities. Um, I spent a little over a year working on this. But I love it. It is, it's got way more power. It blasts through even the heaviest of grass, um, deep grass. And it, um, the only thing you smell is sweet grass. 
Like, there's no exhaust, there's no emissions, there's just the smell of grass. Um, it's a little bit quieter, and uh, you don't have to go out and pick up gasoline on the weekends. I like it. Let me know if you uh, have any questions. I'm happy to help anybody who's got a similar project. And um, if I do another one someday, I'll do maybe a how-to. But happy to help if you got them. See you.